Hey there, Libra. This is Debs and this is your TGIF, thank God it's Friday, weekly reading, Friday the 8th of September 2023. Libra, hope you guys have had a fantastic week and let's jump in and find out what may be happening. Here we go, the deck that I'm using for this particular month is the new Marchetti deck, okay? Everything that you need is down in the description box below. The link to my website if you want a private reading, the join information if you want to join the channel and all the decks that I use. Okay, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the weekly reading for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, what is going on? Okay, Friday the 8th of September 2023. Ooh, okay, I'm hearing a... <laughs> I'm hearing that song by Miley Cyrus, I Can Buy My Own Flowers. Okay. I'm seeing somebody trying to open a door but realising it's locked. They haven't got the key to unlock it. Okay, Libra, you may feel something is done. You may be giving up on a situation. I'm hearing I made a mistake. Libra, somebody may have made a mistake about you. You could have made a mistake, but you don't want this to be done. Let's see. All right. So Libra, I think that you are possibly married. You could be married to an Aries or you could be married to somebody who was very much in control of the relationship. But recently, you have been holding back from intimacy with him. You may have been a bit defensive with him because you may have thought that quietly he was in love with somebody else. And I think, Libra, you felt hurt. This may have festered for quite a long time, Libra. And because with the Ten of Swords, you felt as if... The relationship was over. You felt betrayed. You left your marriage with the Five of Swords to head off with the energy of the Chariot to be with a King of Wands. Now, you could have started an affair with this guy. This King of Wands really wanted to build a relationship with you and I think with the Ace of Coins kept asking you whether or not you were ready to take this forward. Are you ready to come and be with me? Are you ready to sort of move in with me? But I don't know, Libra, whether or not this man knew that you were married. Wow, this energy has come out so much. With the Nine of Wands, you were very stressed. You had to tell the truth, which is, look, I am still, you know, in a marriage, but I think my husband's in love with somebody else. We're not getting on. I'm trying to make a decision as to what to do. With the Two of Wands, I think you told this King of Wands of yours that you knew you had to make a decision. So this is you with the energy of the Judgment card. You could have fallen in love with a Sagittarian. But this is you knowing you had to make a decision about your marriage. Energy of the Hierophant. So I think, Libra, where you are now is that with the Page of Coins... You may be pulling back from your King of Wands. You may even be saying to him, look, we can stay in touch. We can still stay connected as friends, but I need to detach from you with the energy of the Hermit because I need to do some thinking as to whether or not I'm ready to leave my marriage. Okay. That's the biggest energy coming through for me. You guys may read these energies differently and that's absolutely fine. But I feel I'm connecting with a Libra who is trying to make a decision as to whether or not she wants to leave her husband to make it work with a King of Wands. Now, it could be far more complex. The King of Wands may also be in a legal separation situation. I don't know. But the biggest energy coming through is I think your King of Wands really wants to be with you, but you're sitting on the fence about ending your marriage. All right, Libra, let's move into the second deck. Here we go, Libra. This is the Tarot du Soleil. What else do we have for my lovely Libras? Okay. 
Thank you, Michael. Oh, he wants that one too. Okay. Saying that's it. Okay. So Libra, we start off with the energy of the Justice card. So this is you in a legal contract, really wanting to bring balance to your life. You're thinking about your marriage. With the Nine of Wands, things aren't good. You feel very stressed. You're not getting on with your emperor. You could be holding back intimacy from your emperor. And with the energy of the moon, Cancerian energy, I think you move towards someone secretively because you thought that your emperor was in love with somebody else. So with the chariot, you headed off to potentially start an affair with the Ace of Wands with someone that you were very attracted to coming through as the King of Wands. But with the energy of the High Priestess, what you've done now is to pull back any more communication because you're trying to use your intuition to discover what's going to make you happy with the Ten of Cups. Is there a chance that you can sort things out with your emperor? Do you feel you're ready to begin building a relationship with your king of wands? So you're at the moment, Libra, trying to decide what you want to do. Here we go, guys, moving into the witch's tarot. Oh, that flipped over. Okay. Nine of swords. So Libra, you're highly stressed. Because you're in a difficult situation, you may feel that the love has gone out of your marriage. You're very, very attracted to a king of wands. But you're not sure if this is really going to work out and bring you the happiness that you seek. You're not sure. You're not sure. With the ace of wands, this is you knowing that... Either your emperor had an affair or this is you stressed because you know that you have been spending time with a king of wands. Hangman. And you feel stuck. You don't know what to do. Shadow side. You're very confused. You know what you're doing is not right. But you told yourself that you deserve to be happy because you believe your husband has been unfaithful to you. Two of Wands. You're looking out across that vista, Libra. You're trying to decide what to do. Three of Pentacles. For some of you, Libra, you may feel that your emperor is off having his own affair and this is you knowing that you're having an affair with the King of Wands and the whole thing has got toxic. So there could be a third party situation on both sides. The Chariot. You could have moved towards a Cancerian who could be this King of Wands. Or this is you knowing that you're developing a third party situation, maybe at a distance. Yeah, two of pentacles, you don't know what to do. Do I leave my husband to make things work with my king of wands? Do I stay? Justice, you're thinking about gaining balance in your life. You're also thinking about your legal contract. Who is the king of wands? The king of wands is sat in the three of wands. He's waiting for you to make a decision as to what you want to do. Yes. He is your lover. He could have Gemini in his chart. He knows that you have a decision to make. High Priestess. He also knows that you haven't let your husband know that you're interested in someone yourself. Even though you may know that your emperor is having an affair on you. Page of Pentacles. You may have made out to friends of yours, people that may know that you're in touch with this King of Wands, that he's just a friend. You may also be nervous because you could have a child with your Emperor and you're worried about the effect of divorce on your child.
Empress, this is you. Taurus Libra energy, Five of Pentacles. You're worried about leaving your husband because you're going to leave behind a lot of stability. Four of Pentacles, you're hanging on to the stable connection, but you're not happy. You feel left out in the cold from your emperor. And so your decision is, do I carry on this affair, which is overindulgent of me, but it makes me happy? Or do I divorce my husband and become single and start a new life? Three of Swords. You know that whatever decision you make is going to be heartbreaking. If you carry on an affair, you're going to upset your King of Wands because he really wants to be with you. If you end your marriage, you know that maybe you're going to hurt family members. Maybe your children are going to be upset. So it's difficult. Strength. You need the strength to make this decision, Libra. Star. Do you move into a wish fulfilled type situation to be with your King of Wands or do you heal your marriage? You just don't know what to do. You know that your King of Wands wants to be with you. You know that he has said he wants to commit to you. You're thinking about this. But at the moment with the Queen of Wands, you're stepping out of your marriage. You know that your King of Wands finds you incredibly sexy. You and your King of Wands are actually a true pair. And he wants to be with you. But is it enough for you to dissolve your marriage? King of Swords. You may decide to seek legal advice, Libra. You may decide to go and talk to someone. Because what you're thinking about doing is leaving your marriage. Six of Swords. Page of Cups, you're thinking about making an apology to your husband, even if you feel he cheated on you. This is you thinking, okay, I just got to admit that I had an affair too. I'm still connected to a King of Wands. I want to leave my marriage. Yeah, I mean, Page of Cups, the world is, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Yeah, the world, Ten of Pentacles. I think you're ready to leave your marriage, Libra. Even if it means sacrificing your stability with the hope that you can start a new relationship with your King of Wands, moving out of this third party situation. Yeah, you're ready to take that leap of faith and a risk towards your King of Wands. Now, he could be an Aries. We've also got Leo here. You've been looking at everything you invested in your marriage, Libra. Seven of Pentacles. And with the Five of Cups, I think you're really sad that your marriage has gone under. But with the Two of Swords, I just think you're done. You're trying not to feel guilt. You're trying not to feel disappointment. But I don't think you want to be sat in the energy of the Queen of Pentacles anymore. So Libra, I think you're going to tell the truth. Yeah, Page of Swords. I think you're going to tell the truth to your emperor. I think you're going to say, look, I know that you've had affairs on me in the past, although I haven't said anything, although I haven't mentioned it. You may say to him, I think you're still in love with somebody else and I sort of feel betrayed. What you don't know is that I've met a king of wands who wants to offer me a commitment and I think that we should talk about ending our marriage. I believe, Libra, you're ready to do it. What is the emperor's energy? What is the emperor going to say? Ten of Cups. I think, to be honest, Libra, he's not going to try and pull you back in. I think what he's saying is, I believe that both of us have the right to be happy. That's what I'm hearing. I believe that both of us have the right to be happy. With the sun, if you feel that your king of wands is going to bring you the happiness that you seek... I'm not going to stop you. Go for it. Temperance. Sag energy, Leo energy. 
I think he might be saying to you, Libra, look, we've both been coasting in this relationship for way too long. I don't think he's angry. He may know that he stepped out on you. He may know that you know that. I think he's in a very calm state of mind and he's going to say to you, I think it's time. I agree with you. I don't think there's going to be harsh words, Libra. I think you two are simply going to agree to separate. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is going to be a surprisingly calm, amicable separation. With the energy of the Emperor, he agrees that this relationship isn't going anywhere. He may say to you, you know what, I want to be happy too. I haven't been happy for a while. Two of Cups, he may admit, yes, I'm sorry. I did fall in love with somebody else. I still have feelings for that person. And if you feel that you want to be with someone else too, I think we should just agree to leave the marriage behind. He may even say to you, look, you know, we can sort out the house, we can sort out the property. He may say to you, um, I'm going to be moving forward with the person that I fell in love with. So if you agree to end the marriage, we can make this a very smooth transaction. We can make this a very calm dissolving of our marriage. It's almost as if he's accepted that in any case, you know? It's almost as if he accepted that a while ago and he was just waiting for you to meet someone yourself. Eight of Swords, oh Libra, are you now in your head? Because your husband is okay with ending the marriage. How is Libra feeling? Oh, Libra. <laughs> now that your emperor is opening up to say, okay, I, I have feelings for someone. If you're all right with dissolving the marriage, if you've met a king of wands, then sure, you know, let's do this. Let's separate Libra. You may change your mind. You may begin to feel a bit jealous that your husband is heading off with somebody else. How is Libra feeling? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Ten of Wands. Libra, are you now changing your mind? Are you saying to your emperor, actually, I don't want to do this now? Oh, OK. What is the emperor saying to Libra? Six of Cups. He may say to you, look, Libra. We've been together a long time. We've had a lot of happy memories. I've known you for many, many years, but it's done. We will always have those happy memories. We will always remember the good times, but I think this relationship is over. What is Libra going to say? Oh, I don't know now. I'm a bit emotionally confused. Uh, I don't know if I want to end the marriage. What is the Emperor saying? He's very calm. He's basically saying, look, I'm going to be very fair in the divorce settlement. You will get a good payout. I want this to end amicably. If you've met someone and I have feelings for someone, let's just call it a day. What is Libra's energy? You don't know. Four of Cups. So Libra, do you actually have feeling still for your emperor what's going to happen okay oh libra don't do this to yourself this is you digging this is you digging wanting information on this other woman i think you're feeling jealous What's the Emperor going to say about the other woman? The Death card. She may be a Scorpio, or he could say, Libra, look, it's not important what happens to me and this other woman in the future. We need to look at dissolving the situation so we can both transform our lives and move forward as independent people. I don't think he is trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but what he's saying to you is, look, it's not going to help anyone with you asking lots of questions about this other woman. It's 
in the nicest sense, Libra, what he's saying is it's not important. What is important is we need to decide if this marriage is going to end. What is going to happen now? Okay. <laughs> Libra, he may say to you, look, um, yeah, sure, I can tell you a little bit more about this other woman that I've met if you want to tell me about your king of wands. There could be stalemate, right? Basically, Libra, the ball is in your court. What he's saying is, yeah, I can divulge who this woman is, but I don't want it to cause problems in my future life. What we're talking about here is ending the marriage. If you really want to dig deeper, Libra, then I want to know what about your king of wands? Who is he? And you may be silent thinking, well, I don't really want to tell him who the king of wands is, right? Um, it could be a bit awkward. Is Libra going to say anything about the King of Wands? <laughs> Libra, you're going to make out that it's just a little bit of light flirtation, Page of Wands. Oh, it's just somebody that I'd be messaging. What you're not going to say, Libra, is that you and the King of Wands have had a fling for quite a while. What you're not saying is this is a man who you know is going to commit to you. You're playing it down. All right, so what's going to happen here? Eight of Cups, so Libra. I think what you're realising is there's no point in causing either of you further pain in finding out about new people. I think both of you are deciding to walk away from this. I do. I think you're looking forward to a new life. What is going to happen here? Six of Wands, Libra, there'll be victory and success. You could get a very good payout in the divorce. Yes, Knight of Pentacles could be you receiving money. Or this is you now moving back towards your King of Wands to say, I'm going to be a single woman. So if you want to move this into a commitment, fantastic. And he may well be saying to you, OK, let's talk about building a life together. What else is going to be happening for Libra? Beautiful. You're moving into a brand new phase of life, Libra. And I have to say, I think you're going to be very happy. Very happy. So it's going to be difficult, totally detaching from your emperor. You know, even though you guys may not be in love anymore, there could be a sense of, I don't really want to imagine him with another woman. But then again, you have started a relationship with the King of Wands. So I think, even though it's not going to be a happy separation, I think you guys are going to separate amicably. You're going to get a decent payout. You're going to do well in a court case. And I think your King of Wands is going to commit to you. Beautiful, Libra. So guys, let's move into messages. Here we go, Libra. Wisdom of the Oracle. What is going to happen here for Libra? To be fair, okay. So Libra, what you're being guided to accept is that, okay, your emperor stepped out on you, but you stepped out on him. And it's actually going to be a very easy separation. Neither one of you is totally to blame as such, okay? Exchanging gifts. I feel the two of you may talk about dispersing items in your home. It could be that if this is on a spiritual level, you feel as if both of you have been gifted a brand new life with different people. What is the divine saying to Libra? Clean it up. Yeah. So dissolve the partnership and get ready for change. You could be moving. Um, you could be moving out of the house, the marital home. It could be that there's a house that's sold. They're telling you to clean up the situation you've been in. Get rid of it, right? So you can start a brand new life with your King of Wands. And then what they want you to do is rest. Take a holiday, take a few days break with your King of Wands. Enjoy time just for yourself, whatever you want to do. Because I think this whole thing has been emotionally stressful. You may feel a bit drained. Yes. 
because you're moving from one world to the next. You're actually moving from a very gray, dull relationship where you felt very unhappy into something bright and beautiful and fresh. So think about that. To the sea. So you could be moving, you could be packing up. This is also you getting in touch with your emotions, Libra. New life, yeah, there's a new life right in front of you. So Libra, I'm leaving the reading there. I really hope it's helped. Take care of you, have a great weekend, and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye Libra.